Once again, residents in Port-au-Prince flee as gunshots resonate throughout the capital. Another day of heavy fighting on the Caribbean island. Haiti's gang leaders may say that they're fighting for peace, but residents' lives have turned into a nightmare. I fled my neighborhood when my husband was killed in front of me. But then they set fire to my house again. This is all I own, everything I can carry. I find myself dragging my things through the streets. I'm 62, I can't take it anymore. Several police officers were killed this Thursday as gangs targeted a police station, a police academy and shot at the island's main airport. Violence has soared across the capital after the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in 2021. And before the attacks began, the leader of G9, one of Haiti's biggest gangs, said he now aims to force the interim president, Prime Minister Ariel Henry, to step down from power. We're asking residents not to run away when they see us. The guns that you see now will turn against the people's real enemy. We're not firing at residents or the working people. We're going to bring down Ariel and all the corrupt politicians. Ariel Henry was supposed to step down in February, allowing Haiti to hold new elections. That hasn't happened, and Thursday's violence took place while Henry was abroad in Kenya. The Prime Minister is struggling to finalise a UN-approved mission to deploy Kenyan police to Haiti to help end the violence, as gunmen now control the capital almost entirely.